So everyone, in this video I'm going to make a review of this uh, Duclos uh, Photography Light Box. So it comes with uh, six backdrops and other features, so let's get into it. So this is what the box looks like, uh, there's information about the product, there's also a picture of it with the backdrops uh, and this indicates that the company put up a, a bit of effort into making this box uh, so the product uh, should not be uh, bad quality. So let's open it and see what's inside. It's also a very nice uh, uh, protective uh, uh, case over here, which is super cool and I'm going to remove the box. This one is really compact, there's also a nice branding. But the most important to see what's inside, it comes with some handles if you want to carry it, which is uh, quite convenient. And this is what is inside. Everything uh, is uh, nicely organized and very compact. So we have to push this one a bit more. Yeah, so these are the backdrops. We get six of them different colors. This is the top part with the hole to take uh, pictures. Here we have the certificate, we have the user manual which is a uh, color which indicates as well that the product is not cheap and this is the photo box and uh, I will show you how to assemble it. So now I'm going to show you how to mount this one, it's super easy, you just have to do it like this and it literally takes 3 seconds. So we are not done yet with the setup, uh, literally what we have to do is to press this one till the very bottom and as you can see here are the LEDs. So basically we have to flip the light box. Another cool thing about this photo box is that we get this, which is super cool. It's black on one side and uh, on the other side is uh, this uh, gray uh, metal reflexive. And the purpose of this one is to put it uh, at the bottom to keep the product on it. Another cool thing that we get is uh, this diffuser. And the place of this one is uh, here at the very top to diffuse the light that comes from uh, these uh, LED bulbs. And to install this one is very easy, we just have to do it like this. And literally in seconds it's done. So I'm going to show you how to mount uh, the backdrops. It's super easy, we just have to remove this part over here. Just select one of the backdrops and literally it's simple as that. Obviously we can push this one and to arrange uh, the backdrop properly, which should be something like this. Obviously we will put the product over here, we will make some tests and we will see how it looks. This is one color. So this is the top part where we have uh, the hole. Obviously we have to remove this uh, foil and if we open this one we will see a hole that we can use uh, to take uh, pictures from the top. Okay, so now let's talk about uh, how to make this work. Uh, here at the back, which comes from the top, there is a long cable and there is a USB that we have to plug into a socket or probably uh, to an external battery. And uh, here we have the remote control, which is supposed to be like this. And we have the power button and plus or minus to adjust the intensity of the light. Personally, I prefer to use a power bank and I'm going to attach uh, this USB. It's on. And as we can see here at the, on the remote control, uh, a blue light started to pop. And we are just going to press this one and inside the light should be on. And I'm just going to flip this one. And as you can see, the LED is already on. But using the remote control, I'm going to add more light and this is the max or I'm going to remove the light. So this is the lowest level that you can get and if I press this uh, power button it's gonna switch off. So I just chose a random product uh, for you guys to make an idea of how uh, uh, big this uh, light uh, box is and uh, this is how it looks with uh, the backdrop and obviously I will take some pictures and I'll show you the examples. So now I have switched off the lights that I'm using to record this video uh, because I want to show you what the maximum and the minimum intensity of this uh, light end. So uh, at the moment we are uh, at the max intensity and I'm just slowly gonna dim it. Yeah, so this is the minimum that you get and obviously based on the result that you want to achieve 
uh, you can uh, change the intensity of the light. So now I have added uh, the diffuser which is here on top and uh, I'm going to increase the intensity. And this is the result that you get uh, with it. So something very important that I would like to mention is the fact that this uh, uh, LED light is positioned just a bit at the, at the back. So in order to get the best lighting on the product, you will have to position your product a bit at the back to be exactly at the center of the light. Because if you push it a bit in front, then you get this type of shadow, which we are not looking for. We are looking probably for this. There is something else that I would like to mention. Most of the people use the light box uh, uh, with the light coming from the top, but we can use it exactly like this to get more interesting effects. And considering the fact that this light box uh, is a square size, we can get this effect and we can uh, get the light traveling from one side to get uh, more interesting results uh, in uh, photography. So I've all thought about this uh, light box, I consider it to be absolutely brilliant, it's really compact, easy to fold and unfold, it literally takes 3 seconds as, as they say. You can take pictures from the front and also from the top. Uh, the building quality is really good, which I appreciate the company put effort into making it. So uh, do I recommend you to buy it or to drop it? Well, definitely to buy it. So if you have any questions related to the product, you can leave them in the comment section below and I will answer. There is also a link in the description that you can check out more information about this one or maybe you consider to purchase it. And uh, if you consider this video to be helpful, I would really appreciate if you can tap uh, the like button or even consider to subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you next time.